This is Vaughn, and today we're going to talk about some of the mistakes I've made powering all this crap in my car. Um, so I've got Jackery down behind the seat there. It's a mess. I've got some inverters and stuff in the back. But for most of this dash stuff, you just kind of want to run off your cigarette lighter. Now, I had, you know, started with fancy splitters and give me lots of power. But then there's cables everywhere, so I decided to fuse tap. Except for I fuse tapped on the same circuit that the cigarette lighter is running on. So when I try to run everything at the same time, it kind of overloads the car. So today we're going to switch fuse taps and explain how all that works a little bit. And I'll show you some of the wiring. Alright, so under the dash here, our main goal is to hook up this 12 volt splitter which gives us a cigarette lighter and usb ports under the dash and we use a bunch of these little five-way clips so we don't gotta twist any wires together or do any soldering and that allows me to add a lot more stuff so now if it's 12 volt i just run it into these clips which will tie it into the um uh, the fuse tap and here was my big mistake using a fuse number one which is tying into the cigarette or lighters so i'm going to move this to fuse three which is just the usb port in the console so let me go ahead and try to change this out we'll be right back all right so next step here it's now in fuse number three there and it covers fuse one so you can't tap both of them but that's okay because fuse one again is the cigarette lighter and I'm hooking devices up straight to it, so I don't want to put any extra load on that circuit. Lots of other places to tap in here if I need more lines, but I don't think I do. Now I've got this one more wire here. I'm going to hardwire my car's four-channel DVR into those blocks, so it should be nice and easy. Go ahead and get that done. All right, so I've got everything tied into this five block for the hot going into fuse number three and again all the outer rails um, are ignition accessory only and then the inner rail is uh, always on so don't tap into that center rail unless you really know what you're doing or you can kill your battery this black one here is in negatives and it ties into a bolt there and then splits that with everything else acting like a bus bar you know so I've only got two USB devices here because the other ones are wired in directly. But And then I could add another USB cigarette lighter adapter or a, a device that requires cigarette lighter. But uh, I think this is all it's going to get wired to the front. Well, we'll see how this goes. All right. Well, all the front devices still work. The uh, camera, which I just switched over to the front wiring, is uh, came right up. So it took about 30 seconds to add that uh, red and black into the existing five-way bus bars I already had. So it's uh, the combination of those little clips, which are these babies. Love these things. Combination of those and a fuse tap, though gives you a very nice expandable power system under your dash uh, really easily without too much uh, complicated wiring. I'll put some links and none of them are affiliate links. So I don't get paid for anything. I'm just putting them up there for your convenience. So check them out. If you have any better ideas or questions, let me know.